Fellow soldiers and citizens of Athlone and the Midlands, this is a day for Athlone and the Midlands. This is a day for Ireland, the first one glorious day in over 300 years. Look how we have regarded Athlone. Athlone had all of our hatred and our joy, and we looked upon it with pride. All that had heretofore been symbolised by Athlone with its barracks, its castle and its dungeons, we hated Athlone because it represented the might of British rule and the might of the British battalions. Well, thank God the day has now come when I, as your representative and representative of Ireland and representative of the Irish nation, presented arms to the last British soldier and let him walk out the gate. In other words, he skipped it. You men of Athlone, who stand dressed in the uniform of Ireland, you soldiers who stand dressed in the uniform of costume, upon you devolves a very high duty. As I said a few moments ago, we looked upon Athlone with mixed feelings, joy as well as hatred. Hatred. But we had pride in it, aye. For when we picture Athlone, we picture Sergeant Custom and those plain volunteers and their brave struggle on that bridge. We see them tear plank after plank and fire shot after shot until the last plank went down the river forever. Those plain volunteers, whereas the plain volunteers of today, who now hold it for Ireland. When we think of Sergeant Custom and that brave struggle on that bridge, it's viewed as one of the greatest feats of bravery ever performed by force of arms or by bravery. It is up to you now to maintain the high ideals of Custom and his men. As it has once again come into our hands, through no carelessness will it be lost. We have it, and we will hold it. Therefore, Athlone today, for the Midlands and for Ireland, and from this day forward, shall not represent the symbols of British tyranny, but it will be a guarantee to the people of Ireland of their freedom, a guarantee to enable them to live in peace, prosperity and progress.